This is a Steam Greenlight trailer for Mortum. That's a bloke with a hat there just made a bird appear. It's very exciting. It's a 4x4 multiplayer game. You just see there the sweeping animations of these beautiful medieval vistas. There goes a bloke with a bow and arrow. Really sort of hammers home the the kind of, and I'm gonna say it, visceral medieval combat of the age. Here we can see some men just sort of floating near the ground while mimicking running. So, as we say, four by four, four different character classes. We're gonna go see the, the engagement now. The sound, by the way, just, just completely cut out. I guess they really want us to concentrate on, on this, on the, the characters clipping through each other and whatnot. But don't you worry, the music's coming back just in time for a stab in the balls. More tune. Yeah. That's, that's quite something. Um, yeah, but so, we talk about this a few times on this particular series. Uh, probably best to wait until your game looks good before showing it off. Now, I'm not saying that Mortium won't be good. It might be brilliant, but in this early stage, it, it doesn't sell to anyone, you know. Uh, as, as evidenced by the amount of positive reviews some really shit early access games go, there are a lot of Steam users who are very, very, very forgiving and who see potential in everything. And that's fine, but I think the more, the more astute customer is going to look at something like that and think to themselves, this looks like beyond clown shoes uh, and, and therefore will probably be turned off from voting for the game or, or being interested in it if it ever does come to Steam. Uh, a lot of these Greenlight games really need to make sure that they've got a good fucking game before they even think about selling it. I think a lot of developers put the cart before the horse. And if, if there's anything that I would hope people take away from these videos, it's that you don't want to do that. Don't, don't think about the t-shirt deal before you've got the product to which uh, the t-shirts would be relevant. Uh, that's, that's always something I try and tell people. Too many people think too far ahead. Steam should not be your first bet, okay? That should be part of the end game, part of the end goal. Uh, make sure you got something worth flogging first. And in this state that we're seeing here, sorry, Mortium ain't worth flogging. And I don't say that with any malice. I say that to be 100% open and honest with you. Just, just that's the reality of the situation. So as we said, it's a 4x4 multiplayer game. The goal is to defeat the king. Work together to complete the mission before the other team does. Uh, they say that this is different because it focuses heavily on teamwork. Uh, in other games, one player can single-handedly win the entire game. Here, you truly need to work together to win. I think there are a lot of games like that, but, but we'll let, we'll let Mortim have it. Uh, we've got different character classes, and here we really do see the uniqueness, because we've got the warrior, which is the strongest in close combat, okay, he has a sword there, the hunter, uh, which is like, like ranged stuff, you've got a, a bow, bow and arrow, and you can get meat from killing a fallow deer, that could be eaten to restore health, so that's something, isn't it? The wizards use magic, summon a raven and scout the territory, or use a lightning spell and you deal massive damage. The craftsmen, uh, they can't attack anyone, but they can gather iron and gold, which are crucial for the warrior and the wizard. In a fight, he can use his smoke to create a distraction, so that's the class no one would pick, except I would pick it, and then wonder why I'm not doing anything interesting, uh, but still want to pick it because no one else is, uh, as evidenced by the fact that my favorite D&D class is the Bard. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's that's more tune. Uh, I wish it, all of the luck in the world, but I do, I do fear that Miss Mortune is in its future. Miss Mortune, Miss Mortune, you get it. <laughs>